Hey there and welcome to ZDNet. Let's talk about iPhone backup. Now every now and then, I like to back up my photos and videos to get them off my phone and free up some storage space. Now I don't know if you've ever lost a phone, I know I have, and losing all your pictures, videos, and data with it is so not worth it. There are a couple ways to back up your iPhone. You can do it either with iCloud or just back it up to your computer. We'll cover how to back up on a Mac later on this video, but let's see how you can back up to iCloud first. The first thing we'll do is go to settings. You'll see these settings here for Apple ID, iCloud settings, and your purchases. So whenever you want to check your iCloud preferences, this is where you'll go. Then we select iCloud here. Now Apple gives users five gigabytes of free storage just by signing into your iCloud with your Apple ID. Now we go to iCloud Backup. We just want to tap on this toggle right here so we can enable the backup. And then the Backup Now option is going to come up. We'll select that. So if you want to customize which things to include in your backup, maybe some things are not as important as your pictures, or maybe iCloud is telling you that you need more storage space, all you need to do is open your settings back up, tap on your name again, and go back into iCloud. We're going to this time tap on Manage Storage and select Backups. This will show us every single device that's trying to back up to my iCloud. I select my phone, which is the only one. And here's a snapshot of what our next backup will include. But you can toggle on and off which app's information you want included in the backup, which will help save space. Now to back up on your Mac, we're going to connect the iPhone to the Mac so we can find the device on Finder. The first time you do it, both your iPhone and Mac will ask you if you can trust this device, so just tap through that. Then we're going to click on your iPhone in Finder under Locations here. And here's another snapshot of what your iPhone storage looks like. You can select your preferences here on the left. But you do want to make sure that backup all of your data on your iPhone to this Mac is selected. And then click on backup now. And then you just kind of wait around until your data is backed up. Thank you for watching and go back it up.